Hello and welcome to my daily video. I hope you enjoy this exclusive news, please subscribe here, like, share, and comment. Man United Takeover, journalist gives encouraging update for quick deal after Glazer's green light. A takeover of Man United will move quickly once the Glazers have given the green light to their preferred bidders, according to CBS Sports journalist Ben Jacobs. The Red Devils set a deadline of April 28 for third and what was expected to be final bids for the club with Sheikh Jassim, the chairman of Qatar Islamic Bank and the son of a former Qatari prime minister, and his rival Sir Jim Ratcliffe submitting offers before the cut-off point. After growing confidence in the Ratcliffe camp that they are winning the race to become the new Man United owners. Reports insist that all parties are working towards a quick deal with the summer transfer window in mind and Jacobs has revealed that there are elements of the process that have been completed. Speaking to Give Me Sport, Jacobs said, for both groups, a decision can't come soon enough. They ideally want to be in for when the transfer window opens. Manchester United need that because the recruitment team are planning, but at the moment, they're unaware whose money they're spending. So, one of the upsides of the way the process has been framed is even though it appears like we're delayed over a preferred bidder or any clarity as to what the Glazers are thinking, there are elements of the process that have been completed, that would usually come further down the line in a traditional takeover in a period of exclusivity. So, a lot of the due diligence, a lot of the questioning, a lot of the logistics, has perhaps been done earlier, in a slightly transactionally backwards way. As a consequence, even though we still wait for the Glazers to give the green light to somebody should they do so, once that green light or if that green light comes, then both groups have a lot more in place at this stage of the process to try and complete a deal as quickly as possible. Man United fans are starting to become concerned that a delayed takeover could impact their ability to recruit the right players this summer with little news coming out of the club. Red Devils boss Eric Ten Hag recently said, We do our job in the background and we are working hard but, for now, it is about games, getting into the Champions League and the FA Cup. For me, it is about finance and that there is the money available to do the right things. There have been reports that Sheikh Jassim was ready to buy West Ham if the deal for Man United fell through but Jacobs yesterday quashed that speculation. Jacobs wrote on Twitter, Understand Sheikh Jassim is not considering West Ham if unsuccessful in buying Manchester United. 9-2 Foundation hasn't made any approach or even discussed West Ham internally. Should 9-2 Foundation fail to agree on a deal to buy hashtag MUFC, it is anticipated QSI would lead on any approach to another club. Malaga is their next prospect. As previously revealed in January, Nasser Al-Khalafi also held exploratory talks with Daniel Levy over minority investment in Spurs. QSI also hasn't held any talks with West Ham. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all.